What's up guys? I'm back with another video and in this topic I'm going to do another video on gaslighting and I'm just going to explain this the best way I can to you guys for those of you that don't know what gaslighting is. It's it's brutal. It does not feel good. It's happened to me many many times and it don't work on a guy like me anymore. It don't work on me and you know what? Honestly, I'd be lying if I said I'd be lying if I said it didn't rub me the wrong way whenever it happens. As soon as it happens, yes. It does rub me the wrong way. It makes me feel some type of way, but I can get over something like that in a flick of a finger within hours within a day, I'm good. You focus your energy back onto yourself, stop focusing your energy on the person who is gaslighting you. And what gaslighting is, is you could be talking to somebody in a relationship or something like this, or you could be talking to a girl. If you're a girl, you could be talking to a guy. It could even happen with a friend or a family member or anything. A parent could gaslight you. You could gaslight a parent. So, you could be talking to somebody you like a lot, right? Everything's going good. And this person decides to mistreat you and to just cut you off so fast. It's not like a big argument that makes sense. They literally just drop you. They gaslight you, just like that. And For a lot of people, like if you really care about this person that is doing this to you, it's going to hurt a lot if you're not experienced with this already. Even if you're young, it's probably going to hurt a lot. So what you have to understand is, whenever something like this happens, stop taking, stop looking at this person like they're above you, or that they don't care about you and stop thinking this way like towards this person altogether. Take your take your focus off of this person. Because honestly, and people can make mistakes, but if this person does this to you, don't show them any attention. Because if they're meant to be in your life, they're gonna come. And they're gonna stop doing this to you. And you have to let them know that this is not acceptable. And if they keep this up, if they keep up with this behavior, you're going to cut them off. This can only happen so many times before you're going to get sick and tired of this bullshit. Straight up. It happened to me a lot and I just, I don't tolerate with this bullshit anymore. If it's happening to me, I already, I, I can tell when it's going to happen. Whenever it's coming. I can tell just by the way the conversation is going that it's coming. And when it when it happens, because believe it or not, some of this shit still happens to me to this day. Because why? Because I'm not living in fear. I'm still going to talk to females. And some girls just, you know, they can get emotional sometimes. They can do things. They can just, you can be talking to them one day like everything's the best thing in the world. The next day, it's... It's not quite like that, but I know what to do when shit like this happens. So, I'm giving you guys this information to know this too, because it does not feel good. And like I said, what you have to know is, you have to focus on yourself. Forget about them. Put your phone down. Go do something else. Do a hobby. Go with friends. Do anything you want. Get your mind off this person. And you know what? Going to sleep at night might hurt. It might just hurt. But you have to do something in the run of a day to distract yourself from this. That's what you have to do. You have to get in your own zone. Get in your own rhythm. Do your own shit. Whenever, like, the worst thing you could do is try to fight for this person's attention back after they just gaslighted you. That's the worst thing you could do. Let them know how it is. Right? Don't give them any attention. 
Because like I said, if they're going to come back, they're going to come back. They're going to spark a conversation with you. And if they don't, fuck them. Leave them. Let them go. Because guess what? You probably treated them like gold. You were probably, you were probably everything that this person ever wanted. And they're doing this shit to you. Because they're trying to be controlling and manipulative. Right? Show them. Not happening. Not happening. Focus on your own shit. Let them go. They'll come back. It's just... I feel like this happens to a lot of young people. Especially in the day and age we're living in today with social media. And like, I grew up in the social media era. I can't say I grew up in it, but like, when I was in my early teens, shit started coming. And I remember everything just getting worse because of it. This gives everybody an advantage to play a whole bunch of people, to play around with a whole bunch of people to get in contact with whoever they want. And if social media didn't exist, honestly, this shit wouldn't even be, this, all this bullshit is happening, guys, because of social media. This ain't gonna happen face to face. And like, it can, but like, not like this. Like, all this shit that I'm talking about pretty much happens over text, pretty much. And these people that do this types of shit use this to their advantage. And it's not fair. But we, we just got to see it for what it is. I don't know what happened there with the phone. It just paused for a second. But we have to see it for what it is. And do the right thing. Even if it's hard. You know what? Not talking back to the person. It might be hard for you guys. It might be. It was hard for me before. It's not anymore because I know it for what it is, right? I'm trying to explain this the best I can for you guys so you guys know this too. Seriously. And you might feel something inside of you. You might feel an unease inside of you. Like you really just want to talk to this person or argue back or try to win them back over or explain something. Just don't. Just don't. Show them that you do not give a fuck. Because honestly, you shouldn't anyway. I don't anymore. Not anymore. I used to. I used to care way too much. I care about myself more than anything else. And you guys have to be the same way. Because if we care about ourselves the most, and we love ourselves the most, that's how we can actually care about other people more. That's the only way, that's the only reason I can do these videos. I could not do these videos in the past that I do today because I didn't care about myself as much as I do today. And I cared about other people more than I cared about myself. I wanted to do everything for other people, right? Not no more. And this is the healthiest way to go about your shit. Because honestly, when you are like this, you are the best for other people. You are. You're not just focused on individuals, you're focused on a bunch. Because you're focused on yourself. You get so good that you can inspire and help thousands, hundreds of thousands, maybe up to millions. Right? This is the truth. Focusing on yourself is what brings everything in. Focusing on yourself is what's actually going to bring the right people into your life. And get rid of people like this that do this types of shit to you. And use your kindness against you. To bring you down. To make them feel more superior than you. Because there are people out there that do this fucking types of shit. And it doesn't make any sense. They're insecure. They're low. They ain't got shit. So that's why they do this types of shit. If they had everything inside of themselves, if they had all the happiness within themselves, they wouldn't be doing this. 
they wouldn't have the time to do this. You don't bring other people down and make people feel bad. And make people feel miserable and that they don't matter, right? This shit don't happen, bro. So. See it for what it is, guys. Gaslighting is a real thing. It ain't to be fucked with. And if you don't know what you're doing when this shit happens, it will fuck with you hard. Hard. And you will feel worthless. And it's all up here. It is all up here. You do not have to feel that way. You don't have to feel that way. You don't have to let this situation make you feel this way. And if you do, that's when it's tough. It will eat you alive. It will make you feel worthless. Like you're nothing. Like you don't matter. Like you, you, you have nothing to offer. Like you're not special in any way. Like you're not nice. Like you don't have gifts. Right? Just worthless. And it'll only do this and make you feel this way if you let it. I'm cutting this video off now. I'll be back with some more stuff, guys. I just took that weekend and honestly a lot of today to do some stuff. And summer's coming too. I'll be a little bit busier in July, but I'm still gonna get videos in, that's for damn sure. Cause I still got a lot of topics to get to. <clears throat> and new ones are coming also, a couple video requests. So I'm gonna cut this off now, guys. Until next time, I'm out.